In this week's video, I am taking two licks from my Lick of the Day series and using them over the jazz standard, There Will Never Be Another You. If you're ready, let's jump into what to do with these licks. All right, in this week's video, I'm gonna be taking two licks from my Lick of the Day series, specifically August 29th and September 1st of 2018. You can watch those original videos right there. I'm gonna be taking those two licks, playing them in a couple different keys. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been doing a very specific strategy. I'm gonna show you a new one this week. Then we're gonna take this lick and put it into context, which means that I'm gonna play something a little bit before and then something a little bit after. This way, I'm taking the lick, sandwiching it with ideas of my own. And then hopefully over time, this lick absorbs into my own natural plane. Then I'm gonna show you what I might do with those two licks over the jazz standard, there will never be another you. And then there will be a play along right after that so you have a chance to work out these ideas on your own without having to go to another app, program, or anything else, you can just use this current video. So let's take the very first lick, this is August 29th. It's a great diatonic lick with a nice blues triplet to finish off the lick. I'm gonna play it in the original key of concert B flat first. And then these last couple weeks, I've been using a uh, seventh chord of some kind to use as my key areas. And I've used a major seven, I've used a minor seven. So today I'm gonna to use a dominant seven. So I'm gonna use concert D, concert F, and concert A flat to make a concert B flat dominant chord. So here is the concert D version. And then again in concert F. And finally in concert A flat. And of course we're gonna do the exact same thing with the September 1st lick. I'm gonna play it in concert B flat first. And then we'll put it in concert D, concert F, and concert A flat. So now let's take this lick, let's put it in concert E flat, which is the key that I'm gonna use, there will never be another U, and let's put it into context. Now let's take a look and show you what I might do with those two licks over There Will Never Be Another You.
So how did your past do on There Will Never Be Another You? I would love for you to post a video, tag me on it, because I'd love to see your progress working through these two licks. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video, and if you've enjoyed it, be sure to share it with other friends or musicians, and as always, I'll see you next week.